Wedding bells, see her. King's Cross is the weirdest and eccentric band I could possibly hope and love to have. Mental is the only way I can describe it. It's bizarre, bonkers. I've never been in a band that does anything like this. <laughs> It's just mad, I don't know what to call it other than that. <laughs> the plan is to do literally an extreme world tour. That is something that combines adventure and playing shows and doing something a little bit different to entertain people. And that I personally think that is more rock and roll than snorting a line of drugs and, and drinking loads. Because you're pushing yourself to the limit and that's what being rock and roll should be about. But that's just been forgotten. She said, I won't share the what you don't realise is this, this is actually how Dan drives normally. Only another eight hours to go. It's not much. Are we there yet? Um, basically, you're not going to get anywhere by doing small gigs, so we're going to do a small gig, but on top of the highest mountain in Britain. Why are you doing this? I have absolutely no idea. So that's a lie. It's for Jay's Hospice. It's for a good cause, so yeah, that's why. We're doing the Ben Nevis thing because um, I wanted to kickstart the band's profile a little bit because I, was, I couldn't just wait around for things to happen. Um, also, it's realising a dream that me and Pete had, or oh, not a dream, we actually said we should one day play on the top of Ben Nevis. It would be the highest ever geek in Britain. But it is a dream from 13 years ago. We thought we would be rich and famous and be able to do it easily, um, but that's not the case, so we just thought, OK, let's just go up and do it anyway. I've got a 30 kilogram power generator on my back and I feel like a poop. It's bloody cold. I've got shaky legs now. Me and Pete have been going ahead with the heavy shit. <laughs> oh yeah. No, uh, there's some of the lads down back, uh, down there are struggling a little bit. So we're, I'm sort of torn between waiting for them or staying up with Pete. How are you feeling, Proctor? It's already. Regret this? Yep. Fuck that. Here we Yeah. Rock and roll. I have to keep going. You look sweaty. Yeah, a bit. I'm not looking my best today. I'm carrying the PA speaker. It's right, it's only a thousand metres to go. <laughs> I'm carrying the food. I'm the camel. Food. What's it like with the drum kit, mate? Hey. One word to describe. Bullshit. Um, I'm saying we're really about 300 feet up. Um, I'm fine. We're doing all right. we're doing I've got yeah. in my, in my uh, energy no. snacks. I'm, I'm, more, I'm all right, I'm just, I'm just worried about the others down at the bottom. Should have done some training. <laughs> I don't care if I die. I don't know where Brock is at the moment, he's right. somewhere so down the there. So he'll catch up his phone. Uh, well, what's going on is my back hurts, my calves hurt. The rest of me is fine, apart from just a bit out of breath. This is quite heavy, as you can probably guess. <coughs> Macarin. <laughs> Still got that thing over there to climb yet. Look at that. Wicked view. Seriously pretty up here. Is it worth it? It's gonna be. It's not worth it at the moment. This <laughs> <laughs> place. <laughs> this trip was a silly idea. I'm gonna hit Dan when I see him. He takes the light bag and backs off. Is it all going to be worth it, Pete? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ask me again in two hours. Not a bad view, nearly at the top. We're actually higher than the clouds. Okay, so we're way over a thousand metres. Me and Pete have got the generator up. Way high. The others are way, way, way behind somewhere. So, me, Pete and Ellie. Almost there. You can see the top now. Oh, it's been brutal to say the least. 
absolutely brutal. Carrying really heavy stuff up here. Realising a vision of 13 years ago, Pete. They weren't even drunk. Saying, let's do a gig on top of Ben Nevis. But that's back in the day when we thought we'd be rich and famous and we could chop our way in. That never happened. That never happened. <laughs> but what we've achieved is just, it's, for the moment, even getting to the top, let alone playing a gig up there is going to be quite remarkable. Absolutely remarkable. And we've done this without enough people. We need at least five more men. Could have done with some more money and support. <laughs> Which could have been really nice, but hey. We'll save it for the Extreme World Tour. Here he is. The final leg for the generator. So, we're just waiting for the others now. We're hoping to proceed with Britain's highest ever gig. Okay, so most of us have made it out. <laughs> <laughs> we're just waiting for the others. Not in whole pieces, I'm dead. All the true men are up here, the wimps are... <laughs> yeah. yeah, how long did it take you to get up, Dan? Four and a half hours. Phew, <laughs> yeah! Hey guys! Here comes Proctor. Hey! Long time no see! There is just no humour at him. Have we got any water? Yeah, yeah. Let's get everything set up then. We've hooked up quite a crowd. The, uh, the crowd's just marvelling at the achievement that we've actually managed to carry a whole band's equipment up here, including the generator. There's uh, Prop had a hard time, but he's, uh, he's made it. We came all the way out from Essex yesterday. Yay! Yay! It was a really short journey. This is the one that we're using as the charity single. It's called Every Sentimental Moment, and this is the one that raises the money. Basically, me and Pete fulfilled a 13 year dream of playing on top of uh, Ben Nevis. So we've got to go on to the next one now. The ultimate aim is to do the King's Cross Extreme World Tour where we play the South Pole. Um, the hottest community in the world, the coldest community in the world. Area, Area 51. Area 51. Doesn't exist apparently. Uh, the Vomit Comet. The Vomit Comet. The lowest, uh, the, 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 the deepest, widest canyon in the world in China. Under the sea. The highest monolith in Australia, in the world, which is in Australia. Um, you name it, we're going to have to do it now. It's the exploring and the physical, which I love. <laughs> so it's got to be done. It's got to be done. And the other thing is, while we're not rich, famous and massive, we're actually be beating people who are rich and famous and successful. Uh, you know what I mean? We've beaten the record, well, we've done something that no one else can beat us at in this country. And no one else will ever do. So at least if we, you know, end up destitute, eating baked beans for the rest of our lives, we'll have done it. Done something. Else. Thank you much, Ben Nevis! <laughs> oh, thanks for watching us. What can I say? It worked. I can't even believe it worked. Did it? Did it? Oh my god, this is so surreal. It's weird. Fuck yeah! yeah! Come on. That was immense. Glad to be heading back down. Let's put it that way. <laughs>